Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. This is Khaled. Hey everyone. It's episode five. So uh, a lot of you guys asked me how I started working with Khaled. I thought we'd ask him to tell the story. Sure, wow, okay. Um, right on the spot. So I had been filming, as you know, filming, editing, creating, like all by myself as like sort of a one man show for almost a year. And I was pretty exhausted and I realized that I didn't have the time to get good at the technical parts of making a video. Technical parts being like editing, learning new software, camera work. I basically did enough to get the story told. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to do so much more in terms of creating stories where the edit could tell the story just as well as the the words could. So I literally did something simple. I, I put out a message on my story, like just like on an Instagram story, like, hey, uh, any anyone interested in working with me? Adnan probably sent in what I would call the greatest pitch, I want to say. <laughs> the greatest pitch. It really, it, it, it's, I'm being honest here. It's the greatest pitch. And, and look at how small the world is, right? Adnan had actually worked on a video or edited a video that I was in about a year before that, right? Two years Two ago. years before that. And that was sort of his opening. It's like, this is when I worked with you and I've seen your work before. He literally talked about his creativity in a video. And while doing the video was using all these transitions and moves that he's so well known for that you guys keep asking about. So I hit him up and he came over and we worked on a video. He brought his, uh, he didn't bring a laptop. He brought a whole, I don't even know what you call it. It's like this huge screen and all his equipment with him. We did the video, we shot it. I, I needed to go pick up Khalifa. So I'm like, I'm gonna be gone for half an hour. And he's like, okay, no worries. I'll get started on the edit. And I left and I came back and he had literally, and it was half an hour and he had finished 80% of the edit by the time I got there. And I was just amazed at one, his creativity, two, his work ethic, and three, his the attention to detail. How these little things that you do within the video can change the whole way the story is told. It's all plugins, yo. It's all plugins. <laughs> but I think, like, he showed me in just that one day, like, how dedicated he was to the work that he was doing. In that day, I'm like, this is the guy that I want to partner with on all the stories that we tell since then. He is still gonna say my last name though. I'm Raihid. <laughs> <laughs> but like, to be honest, there are some times where you just find that person that you're able to create with, just tell great stories with. But to be honest, like the thing that I value the most is, uh, the friendship that we've created. How I feel like he's a brother to me, someone that I can talk to about anything. You know, we just, we're just on that same wavelength at all time and we both have that- Love for the office. Yeah, love for the <laughs> office. Yeah, we're both fans of that. Uh, that's a hint at some of the future stuff that's coming inshallah. You know, it's it's been since September. Yeah, yeah. end of September. End of September and uh, here we are today. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Did that answer your questions? I can't hear them. We can't hear you. <laughs> Did it answer your question? Please support Adnan. Sign up to his new group. You want to plug that in? Content Tribe. Sign and up to the Content Tribe. And that's part of the thing that I was talking to them about is that they should reach out to their favorite content creators, ask questions and stuff. Because if you do respond to a Instagram story about someone asking for a videographer and editor, you could end up working with your favorite content creator. So never stop asking questions. The only thing I would add to what you said, bro, and what I think stood out for you versus what everyone else said is people would respond, right? They would say, hey, I'd like to work with you or hey, I love your videos, I'd like to work with you. I appreciate all that. But you were like one of the only people who were like, here's what I can do. That spoke for itself. Is Thanks, man. It's, it's one thing to be passionate about, it's one thing to say, like, I mean, you put, he did a full video. Like, just to let you know, he did a full video filmed it, edited it as a story of why we should work together. And I think today, that's what it's all about. When Absolutely. it comes to the creative world that we live in, it's not about your passion, it's about what you can do and how hard you're willing to do it. Absolutely, and that reminds me, when someone posts something and says, email this if you're interested, please don't respond with a DM saying, I'm interested. Or DM saying, what's your email? <laughs> the email is there, email us. <laughs> but thanks for supporting Adnan, sign up to his page, man. he does great work. Uh, with me, he does great work without me. I uh, appreciate his friendship, I appreciate his love, and we look forward to creating much more amazing stories, growing as a team, 
doing amazing things and continue to make you all proud, inshallah. Thank you, man. Bless you, brother. I'll see you guys next time. Wait, wait, you need to do your... Uh, much love. God bless. Boom!